college students can they afford can to have a new one for a hair remover. For a hair remover, that's not permanent. Oh, wow, wow. I think like a nose job or a boobs job that costs less in our days. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Baby, this lady has said that. What were you going to do? I was saying like, are you crazy? Do you think that it's the right time? things to say and after that yeah i i, I live with the with the satisfaction of uh, embarrassing the people in front of their clients that is something that oh. you undervaluate but it gives us some pleasure less when, uh, when you think about it when, after the episode happens oh i'm not a mean person i live with the satisfaction of, of embarrassing people in front of their clients Very and you have satisfaction of people that that get bleeds <laughs> on the street that you don't even know. Uh, we were we were driving uh, yes oh no it was even today I was yes well, yes oh, baby what happened no somebody just got bleeds no. uh, and just get like the the speed control the traffic light no no yeah <laughs> and you're saying that you're not a mean person that person didn't do anything to you shots you got it wrong I was just. The flash of the thing excites me. <laughs> so you sound like the person that you told her. No, it's just, the thing has been there for six months and mm. I honestly thought it's not even working. So when this guy went through it, I saw it, I was like, oh. Oh, yes. Mm. Yes. No, it was not like that. Like, oh, it's <laughs> right. like, No, it was more like orgasmic, very <laughs> sexual. Almost. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, okay, sometimes some I really enjoy that though. You know why? <laughs> Confession. No, no, yeah, but you know why? You are driving in a white pen zone, then comes a guy who is coming from behind you with a port like 180, pushing you, pushing you mm -hmm. so much, then pushing you so much, and then you go to the side, mm -hmm. and then they get this. I might be pretty lucky. I was trying at least to save your ass. <laughs> Okay, cool. So sometimes those are satisfaction. Yeah. And have a story time with us, and this time I also made some favorite, my favorite donuts, which are puff puff, fat cakes, or puff puff. We don't say puff puff in my country. You say pet, fat cakes? Yes, puff puff is like in West Africa. If you're from West Africa, this is puff puff. From Namibia, we call them fat cakes. And if you would like to know how to make this, the recipe is somewhere. Okay, thank you that you're going to add it up there. <laughs> so, so, you know, in this world, as a person of color, there are always something. I mean, just things, things like it never stops. Yeah. If you want, like, it never stops. Sometimes you have to ignore people. Like, you always say I have to stand up and fight for myself, but I sometimes I feel like you have to fight with every stranger just found on the street. A year ago, Ali cut my hair home and didn't go well. And by the way, as a revenge, a week ago I did cut Ali's hair as well. And we made a video. I'm going to leave it somewhere up here. And yeah, because my hair was very uneven for the first time, you also cutting my hair. I think like. I mean, I was cutting the hair like, uh, how much was that? Not so much, five centimeter or yeah. less. Yeah, but it was like coming from this lane mm. to to this, mm. and it was wet. Yeah, it was a mess. So the after a week after that, mm -hmm. we went to the barber, which was very close to where we were living, and you went to cut your hair, and mm -hmm. I was waiting outside. It happened that, uh, you know, you, you were also looking for somebody that could actually cut your hair. So she, she got inside and there were two hairdressers, both women, and uh, she asked in, uh, in German, she asked, uh, uh, is it possible to cut my hair here? And, <laughs> and the lady kind of... Who was uh, already free, because the lady was free, that's why I asked her, like, oh, you know, you aren't doing anything. Uh, can you cut my I hair? I would also just want my hair to be even. I'll just cut it shorter so it's even. And uh, the first thing she said, Oh, we don't even cut Asian hair here. Mm -hmm. She say that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Yeah, I'm, I'm not Asian though. Yes, Asian hair is already too hard for our for our machines. If we cut Asian hairs, 
we get problem with our machine. So I'm thinking African hair, we are going to break our machines. He says that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm laughing at him now, but the German guy behind her was really like, are you guys serious? <laughs> Didn't even know us, but was just really looking at this like, are you serious? Yeah, because it sounds like uh, something that a kid would make up not to cut somebody's hair. No, it, I, I, I'm just thinking if you are... You know all this machine produced somewhere in Asia, right? Mm -hmm. Like, made in China in every single thing. Mm -hmm. Or does... Did she think like, okay, in Africa, the barbers, they are producing their machine somewhere, mm -hmm. putting on, I don't know, some blades or whatever that are suitable for our hair because they are all buying stuff from media market and go oh if you, when you go to the upper shop as well it's the same thing mm. so it was ridiculous i didn't want to argue with the lady i just said oh really good and the guy behind us who i didn't even know he didn't even uh, talk to us but was really having a, a deep discussion with this girl like are you guys really that is ratio are you really refusing to cut a person's hair because you think we just know like it's true it's you think but I, I, but i'm looking at it now thinking it, it's one of those things you say when you just really want to discriminate a person because you 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 haven't cut anybody's hair who broke you just don't want to do it and you say my machine will grow it other than just i don't want to touch your hair or something like that yeah absolutely but i also think if you don't know how to cut you would also say Oh, I'm sorry, I have no experience cutting African or kinky hair whatsoever, you get what I'm saying? That would be just normal and standable and, and that's what it is. But to say, oh... To make up this excuse uh, for, like, that really, not even a five years old child would make this kind of excuse. Right. It was ridiculous. No, I don't want to touch you because if I touch you, <laughs> it's weird. Like my Just machine. say that, you know, I don't know how to treat maybe Afro air and uh, I would, I'm worried I would make a mess. That would have been something that... Straightforward. Straightforward. Like, why would you say something like I'm worried that your, that, that your hair is going to break my machine? Because I, I think, I think it's not like she didn't know how to or she doubted she could do it. She just really didn't want to touch my hair. In my opinion, that's what it is. And sometimes I feel very frustrated because if I'm just at home making appointment at the salon, right? I would call and I ask for an appointment and I say, Oh, do you have experience working with African hair? And some people would already take that as, an, as a ratio of something. Mm -hmm. But I have to ask because I don't want to show up in the salon and be told bullshit, things mm -hmm. like that. Or show up in the salon and be charged more because your hair is too thick. Mm. It, it, it happens? Eyebrows are too thick. I was told by the lady and charged me double. Oh, really? Double? Mm -hmm. which, which I just think is ridiculous. This is also a racial episode. When I think of it, about it now, I'm thinking of. And you accept that or you didn't say anything? <laughs> Maybe I said the lady did my eyebrows at the end. She tried to me down and she said, Oh, because your eyebrows are really, really thick and strong. I didn't go back to her, but I'm just saying, like, what the hell? Why don't you say my price is for light, thin, not too strong eyebrows, something like It's just ridiculous. I was also young and it was probably one of those first two weeks in Germany that I have brows. Mm -hmm. So now I have a trick. What do I do? <laughs> I just mostly, like if I want to get anything hair more or whatsoever, I'll go to your know, Brazilian salon brother. Why? Because they don't do this kind of thing, they don't say this kind of thing. They don't discriminate? No! And you know what is ridiculous though? If somebody really wants to make a lot of money from you, they don't say this. Remember we did with the hair laser removal consultation? Mm -hmm. This, because this cost 3000 to 3500 mm -hmm. it's money. They would never say something like that. But the other side of it is also, they wanted to say yes, come in and start a session, 
but they know their machine will never work for somebody with a deep skin tone. Yeah, and they and they are also afraid that that is going to sound racial. Like my machine is not <laughs> working with your skin. Your skin is different. I think so too. Maybe the guy was scared because the guy said, "Yeah." The guy was concerning, and I was oh, that was terrible. Man. If I think of weird things we've ever done, that was it was terrible. Mm -hmm. It took an hour. Didn't say anything, really. No, it took an hour for a guy to to explain to us how much is expensive to to shave every day than doing a, a three thousand a three thousand euro treatment. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's true. How many blades for your razor can you possibly? Yeah, like that. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm just thinking. I mean, I don't I... even know how they show this thing, but I'm just thinking. This guy said, then said, ah, what, what method of hair removal do you use now? Shaving, epilating, yes. Think about shaving. How much, how much, okay, how much does a shaver? Unke fair cost, and that, 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 five years and price. <laughs> Epilator, oh, it's even more painful, and da, da, da. To give us a price of 3,000 and say we can take a loan. On hair removal. Yeah, uh, there are people that would, they are doing that. They take an alone for hair removal. Yeah, because he also says he has also student clients. <laughs> Maybe from rich family. I'm just thinking. Well, yeah. <laughs> what kind of what kind of students can they afford to have a new for hair removal? For hair removal, that's not permanent. Oh wow, wow. I think like a nose job or a boobs job that costs less in our days. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow. No, yeah, but it's it's like. Try it for three thousand to three thousand five hundred. It's not permanent because they can't guarantee that everything goes off. And then they want to check that. Okay. Nevertheless, the guy said, "Yeah." Oh, I was like, "Yeah, I've had experience with this. I mean, my skin color." Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's not working, but uh, <laughs> give me your three thousand. <laughs> no, I said yes. But then when I went in the in the other room, there was the lady who then supposed to do the procedure and was mm -hmm. explaining how the machine works and stuff. And I was like, I have you had already somebody with my deeper, like of a deeper skin tone and things like that. I was like, and to be honest, I doubt if it's going to work because you, you are the darkest person we are ever going to have. <laughs> was, like was like that. And told me, showed me the picture of the lady, the three days where the guy was saying, yes, we had a black girl. I would say it was colored. It was, mm. you know, it was like a Latin American for sure, I mean, from Peru. Mm. And they were saying yes, we have some. We have treated somebody with the same skin tone. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyways, yeah. What else? Pretty much that's it. Mm -hmm. It's just some of incidents that always come up from time to time. People make strange stuff about you. Say strange stuff about you. You're okay. Sometimes it's even weird because I think sometimes people say things to me, and it takes time for me to. To realize that if mm. it's Horatia or it was just has... something stupid. I mean, like the thing, the eyebrows, we really thought that is stupid. I, mean, I, I didn't jump to his ratio, I just thought that is really stupid. Like, seriously, who does that? And you never went there anymore. No. I never went there anymore. Anyways, mini short story time. See you in our next video. Ciao!